It feels really amazing to be reprising this role. Aloy is such a rich and interesting character. I think I really like got into a rhythm with her and sort of now I know where she sits and I know how to access her. Putting her in this new context, she's learned so much about herself from the first game and about the world. And now she has to step into this new role um, with different stakes. It's a bit of a balancing act in terms of like, you want her to feel like the same Aloy, but also a lot has changed. It's not exactly a denial, Silence. Take it any way you want. Aloy and Silence's relationship is so fun because it's so adversarial. They kind of need each other. <laughs> so there is this really fun like push and pull, which is like, I hate this guy, but I need this guy. I've had challenges of my own these past six months, Aloy. The difference is I've made progress. I love playing characters that are super smart and super complex psychologically. Playing a character that's got a lot of mystery to it or layers to it, for me, I, I think that that's kind of the actor's dream. Silence is such an egomaniac when it comes to his intellect. He rarely thinks of anyone as being his equal. It, in some ways, coming back to the role was like having to learn the psychology and the rhythm of the character all over again. In that way, it was, it was a challenge. But by the same token, being part of a, a game that has such a fascinating world and tells such a cool story, uh, being able to do it again, it's just, it's just great. Let's see how this thing likes the taste of metal! Katalo is a warrior who has kind of had his life turned upside down and finds himself, when he encounters Aloy, at a point of real crisis. The Tanakhthas of people have found themselves separated into three major clans. Kotalo's chief has come to a vision of a better future where the tribes, instead of constantly fighting against each other, come together in a form of peace so that everyone can live together. Kotalo's primary mission is to champion his chief's cause and see if he can rally the tribes together. I really love playing manipulative people. I play this very interesting character named Tilda, who's quite a dynamic character. As an artist, there's a lot of freedom in doing something like this. You get to be in the moment, getting thrown direction by the director, getting to try it over and over again. It felt like creatively it was really fun. There's a lot of mystery to her, I don't want to say too much, but she, um, she's an interesting character. I loved playing her. Blood spilled calls for blood spilled. If the ground is cursed, then let our vengeance sanctify it. Val has been on a heck of a journey. I think the writers are doing a really wonderful job of keeping him evolving and developing. Now that he's got a taste of knowledge, he wants to know more and more. As he grows up and gets older, he's becoming more assertive, more sure of himself, and perhaps more willing to challenge Aloy, which I think is a like a ha healthy compliment to like Aloy's kind of incredible drive and focus. We met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. And now I see I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Aloy saved Erend, 100%. After the big battle at the end of Horizon Zero Dawn, she disappears and Erend's like, well, where did you go? Well, what did you... Hey, where'd you leave me there? Um, and so they have a little bit of a fractious relationship, which is quite an interesting thing to play. But ultimately, he's a very loyal supporter to some huge, huge story arcs in the next one, which sort of blew my mind when I realized what they were doing. Val and Aaron's friendship really develops in this new story. They really have to team up to support Aloy in what is quite a time-sensitive quest that she's on. When they're supporting Aloy, they can both bring very different things to the table. Well, Val can bring things to the table and then Aaron breaks the table with a hammer. My relationship with John McMillan is very similar to Aaron's relationship with Val. Um, take away the American accents, it's, it's identical. We've had some really, really fun times 
like on set and just hanging out afterwards. He's a good dude. Shout out John Hopkins. Our cast has expanded in this game and uh, we've gotten to do a lot of work together on the stage, which has been awesome. We had a shoot recently that had 10 people, which is the most I've ever worked with on a stage. When you get to go into what we call the volume, the big gray room with all the cameras where you're wearing the little tight gray suits covered in uh, dots, um, uh, it is such a privilege because you really get to look the other actor in the eye. There's something about like being in the same space and the way that someone can perform something that gets under your skin or whatever and bring something out in you that you didn't anticipate is, it's always so fun. It's much more like a, like a theatrical performance in that we're all kind of keeping the ball up in the air together. It shows in the work that ends up on screen as well because it, it, it feels much more, much more embedded. Watching the way concept art and like environmental art and, and the directing team helped me shape Kotalo and go from this powerful but still unformed idea of who Kotalo is to seeing him like actually on the screen. It blows my mind. I would never be able to create Kotalo like that by myself. I think that fans are gonna be blown away by Horizon Forbidden West. I'm really intrigued to experience his fans' reaction, not so much to who Silence is, but what's he gonna do next? The story really interested me. I think it's a fascinating journey to go on. I'm interested to see how people react to Aloy and, and this version of her story and the sort of stuff that comes up over the course of the game. As a fan, I'm super excited because the creatures are just gonna get crazier, the enemies get gnarlier, the world is beautiful and bigger. I mean, I'm super biased. I like Kotalo a lot. <laughs> and I really, <laughs> I really hope other people do too. It's staggering what they're able to do on the, on the next generation of consoles. To go back to those worlds rendered as they are now on this, on this new console is, uh, is breathtakingly beautiful. I'm also just excited to play it when it comes out. The land is dying, and the machines meant to help us are out of control. I don't know if I can find a way forward. All by yourself? No way. <laughs>